Hey guys, Scare9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, I want to address a couple of questions from my Rip Cade 6 video yesterday, just because a lot of you guys seem to not really have a great understanding of what an XO is, and I want to go over the different possibilities about how Cade could return at the end of this expansion. So first off, the first major question that I kept getting, couldn't we just reboot Cade, give him another robot body, and just call him Cade 7? Because that's how XOs work, right? No, not exactly. Exos are humans that have been turned into machines. They have the minds of humans put into a robot body, very similar to something like the Cybermen in Doctor Who. We don't know a lot about this process, but essentially somewhere on Europa in the middle of the Golden Age, they discovered how to do this process. We know that Cade can sort of remember doing it. We know that he had some type of sickness and the only way to save his life was to undergo this procedure. So he went to Europa, he went to the Clovis Bray facility that I guess is stationed there and he got himself turned into and transitioned into an Exo. In addition to this, the Grimoire system in Destiny 1 actually mentions a couple other Exos who have slight memories of this. Whenever they die and then get resurrected by the ghost, they can actually feel some of these memories coming back and they can remember just little bits and pieces of this, but we don't really have a great understanding of this process. What we do know is Exos, if they die without a ghost, they are dead. In the trailer, we very specifically see Cade's ghost get shot down. Now, I'm not sure if he's dead, and that would be our only saving grace for Cade. If his ghost actually did get killed in this instance, and then Cade gets shot in the head, that means A, he is dead, and B, he is not coming back. The Exo mind, I assume, works very similar to the human mind. Our mind is just a bunch of electrical impulses going through, and whenever we die, it's because those impulses have stopped. The same would go for Exos. Even though it's an artificial source, I'm guessing some type of battery or something, maybe it runs on Glimmer, we're not really sure, but that doesn't really matter. Whenever an Exo is shot and their brain stops, stops functioning, they are dead just like a human. So this is very important to keep in mind. An XO dying and an XO rebooting are two separate things. Whenever an XO dies, if he or she is a guardian, they can be brought back by their ghost and they're perfectly fine. They get rebooted whenever something starts to go wrong with their mind. You have to keep in mind this is not their default body. So the brain is of course not going to respond very nicely to this new environment. It's going to start going crazy, that type of stuff. And so Clovis Bray in an attempt to combat this problem and this reaction, found out that you can actually just reboot the human brain. And it causes them to kind of get rid of any problematic memories and start over completely new. But that is not them dying. That is just them resetting so they can handle life again. However, like I said, we don't really know the exact specifics on a lot of that. It is just important to know when an exo dies and his or her ghost dies, they cannot be brought back in the same way because they are not robots. They are in fact human parts inside of a robot body, meaning that they will function the exact same as a human when he or she would die in the Destiny universe. Now that being said, I still think there is a slight chance Cade might come back. They are showing this in a very public trailer, they are getting everyone's attention, and most importantly, Cade is a huge piece of marketable material for the game of Destiny. Everything is Cade 6 themed. There is a ton of stuff, I don't really see them just throwing that away but I could be wrong because they do want an emotional impact. This has definitely done that and will continue to do that. So it's kind of a 50-50 chance, I feel like, at this point. If they do bring him back, the only way to do it is to say his ghost did not actually die when he gets shot here. He just gets injured like our ghost at the beginning of the Destiny 2 vanilla campaign. We then take Cade's body, we return it to the tower, and we find the ghost along the way somewhere, and we have the light nurture them back to health. Maybe the traveler helps out, something like that. But I think it is very important to know that the only person at this point that can resurrect Cade is his specific ghost that is tuned to his specific light, he will not be able just to be put in a different body because just like you can't cut open a human's head and transplant their brain into another body after they're dead, that just doesn't work. Once your brain is dead, once those electrical impulses are gone, they're gone. There's no restarting that unless you are a ghost. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any more questions, I will do my best to answer them down in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos, videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.